Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Compline, taken tonight from the um, New Zealand Prayer Book. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early, and so late to take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heaven and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts, and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 16. O oh God, I give you thanks for the wisdom of your counsel. Even at night you have instructed my heart. I have set your face against always before me. You are at my right hand, and I shall not fall. Therefore my heart is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not give me over to the power of death, nor let your faithful one see the pit. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and from your right hand flow delights forevermore. Then Psalm 134. We, your servants, bless you, O God, as we stand by night in your house. We lift up, we lift up our hands toward the holy place and give you thanks and praise. Bless us from all places where you dwell, O God, creator of the heavens and the earth. A reading from 1 John. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and those who are afraid are not perfected in love. We love because God, loved, God first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates brother or sister, that person is a liar. For those who do not love their brothers and sisters whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. read a brief reflection or a series of reflections from Thomas Merton. This is called The Book of Hours, and it's a, uh, it's a daily prayer book that's based on the writings of Thomas Merton, who was a 20th century uh, mystic uh, monk and, and mystic. There should be at least a room or some corner where no one will find you and disturb you or notice you. 
You should be able to untether yourself from the world and set yourself free, loosing all the fine strings and strands of tension that bind you by sight, by sound, by thought, to the presence of other people. But thou, when thou shalt pray, enter into thy chamber, and having shut the door, pray to thy Father in secret. Once you have found such a place, be content with it, and do not be disturbed if a good reason takes you out of it. Love it, and return to it as soon as you can, and do not be quick to change, to, to change it for another. Learn how to meditate on paper. Drawing and writing are forms of meditation. Learn how to contemplate works of art. Learn how to pray in the streets or in the country. Know how to meditate not only when you have a book in your hand, but when you are waiting for a bus or riding in the train. Above all, enter into the liturgy and make the liturgical cycle a part of your life. Let its rhythm work its way into your body and soul. Let there be a place somewhere in which you can breathe naturally, quietly, and not have to take your breath in continuous short gasps. A place where your mind can be idle and forget its concerns. Descend into silence and worship the Father in secret. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation that you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Eternal Spirit, Earthmaker, Pain-Bearer, Life-Giver, 
source of all that is and all that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created things. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new door, joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Blessing light and glory surround us and scatter the darkness of the long and lonely night. The Spirit, the Divine Spirit, dwells in us. Thanks be to God. <laughs>